We're here in Nova Scotia, the second province on our 150 day road trip across Canada, and we can't wait to start exploring. Nova Scotia is a great place to visit. It's fun, interesting, and you're gonna have a great time going around cities and small towns, visiting amazing museums where you're gonna learn so much, and even have cool adventures in nature that you will never forget. In just 10 days, we had so many incredible experiences in Nova Scotia, and yet only scratched the surface of this great province. Halifax is a picturesque and vibrant city. We loved walking around the historical streets, the beautiful waterfront, and taking a tour at the Alexander Keith Brewery, which is home to one of the best brewery tours in all of Canada. Then there's all the beautiful small towns that Nova Scotia is famous for. Peggy's Cove, Mahone Bay, and the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Lunenburg. We fell in love with the beautiful town of Lunenburg. And one of the coolest things we did there was take a tour aboard the Blue Nose 2, which is a replica of the famous Blue Nose, a Canadian icon that you'll not only find on our currency, but also in our passports. Here we go. Now it's not just a town vessel or a provincial vessel, it's a national icon. We live on the ship. You'll see we have a full-time cook on board. Um, washers and dryers, showers, it's home. As someone who loves nature, Cape Breton Highlands National Park really stands out. Not only is it home to one of the most beautiful scenic drives in the world, but it's also a great place to go hiking and explore the outdoors. You'll find beautiful beaches, waterfalls, rugged coastline, and mind-blowing ocean vistas. I think Breton Island is one of the most amazing places in the world. You really get a little bit of everything when you come here. We have over a billion years of history in our geology here and uh, it's created a spectacular landscape. We've got mountains, hard rock, soft rock, we've got the steep cliffs plunging into the ocean. We have lots of waterfalls from the steep river canyons and extremely spectacular fault line. The Aspie Fault runs about 36 kilometers into the park. One of the things I find so special about Nova Scotia is that even though there's lots of nature and lots of cool towns to explore, there's also a lot of interesting history. We learned a lot about all the different cultures that have come here over the years. For example, the Acadian French, the English, German, Scottish, the Mi'kmaq that were here before. It's just amazing how all these people came together to make this place what it is. Halifax, we learned so much about the history of the city and Nova Scotia. We went to the Halifax Citadel where I felt that I was going back in time as I saw people wearing uniforms from back in the day. I got to see a cannon getting fired for the very first time. It was quite loud but it was like so amazing and I had the chance to shoot my very first rifle which was from 1871, something that I will never forget. to the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic, where I got to see real artifacts and read true stories of people from the Titanic. I also learned about the different ships, I saw maritime objects as well, and even got the chance to also send my name in Morse code. That was so cool and interesting. Ah, there you yeah. go. The place that you shouldn't miss visiting is the Canadian Museum of Immigration, a place where I felt so attached and emotional as I identify myself with the stories and feelings of many immigrants through Canada's history. But I also learned about the great impact that immigration has on what Canada is today, making me realize on how lucky I am in living in such a great nation and inspiring country where people from different backgrounds, race, religion, learn to live together to create a better place to live. I think a key ingredient in what makes Canada special is immigration and the relationships that immigrants build when they come to Canada from all parts of the world with the people already living here, be it the First Nations or previous waves of immigrants uh, who have come to Canada. And uh, those, those accommodations and those um, the arrangements that, uh, that uh, people make to build a new life in Canada has been really critical to our last 150 years. Last but not least, we took a rafting trip on the Shubenacadie River, which is the only place in the world where you can raft a tidal bore and experience some of the highest tides in the entire world. 
Well, Nova Scotia is the only place in the world that you can go tidal bore rafting, so it's obviously unique to our area. It's unique and phenomenal activity in Canada and attracts visitors from all over the world. The tides can go up to 55 feet in amplitude on a daily basis. What an incredible thrill to be able to experience the power of the waves, to see our entire boat filled with water, to even jump off and swim into the waves and then go mud sliding. It's definitely an experience that I can't wait to try again. <laughs> What an incredible 10 days we had in Nova Scotia. Whether it was driving one of the world's most scenic roads in Cape Breton Highlands National Park, or visiting the beautiful little coastal communities of Lunenburg and Mahone Bay, or just diving into the history of Halifax. I had a great time in Nova Scotia and I'm so excited to come back and explore this place more. If you like this video, make sure to check out our video on Newfoundland where we stood on ice in the North Atlantic, walked on the Earth's mantle and explored the oldest city in North America. To learn more about this adventure and the best of Canada from coast to coast to coast, visit mustdocanada.com.